I was that this is my last white t-shirt that is still white. I need to get me some fresh Hanes on the dot, man. Like I'm Usher. When it comes to scientific advancements and social justice, social justice warriors tend to overshoot each new innovation as the next printing press. And by that I mean an advancement that creates new socio-political changes. Oftentimes, this really isn't the case. No matter how lucrative or brilliant the discovery may be, no other advancement summarizes this than artificial insemination. The idea of inseminating a female with stem cells instead of sperm cells is a nifty little concept. I liked it since I was 14. Obviously, I've done some projects on it, got some good grades out of it, and liked what I did then. The problem is that social justice warriors of varying strains use this as an opportunity to fantasize about their dysgenic wet dream because both feminists and lesbian rights activists fantasize that they'll finally be able to breed without the need for a male male involvement at all. This would actually happen to be possible since both males and females have stem cells. It's a biological necessity for us. Unfortunately, they assume that this means that they can successfully raise a child without the need of a male. Which doesn't work because same-sex relationships don't last. They're dramatically shorter in relationships of the opposite sex. And having a marriage license isn't going to bring stability to the structure. Hold up. How the hell did I deliver that better than actual script? I forgot the word too. But there, that's another talking point. I hear this all the time on Facebook. It's usually the top like comment that eventually one day we won't need to have males anymore because of artificial insemination. Because we can put stem cells inside that vaginal egg. And. Like I said, it's biologically possible, but you're going to need a male in the household. You're going to need a patriarch. Well, just a dad. Forget patriarch for a second. Forget that idea. You need a dad. And I've said before that there is a need for a dominant male, but civilizations have gone on and have been functional with a matriarchy but you need a dad you need male involvement in some way shape or form especially nowadays because progress is rooted in patriarchy because progress is rooted in things like a religious structure. Oh, that's a tangent, but just telling you. Progress needs these things. And feminists have no idea what they mean when they use progressive rhetoric. Not to say that I am a progressivist, because I may not be, but just to clarify. Anyway, this is Mr. Rocka 7, and suck my dick.